it looks disgusting now but this is all just uh, newly washed and this is the uh, sort of master bedroom time to leave the hotel um, and go back to Sweden I had a really fun uh, time here in Amsterdam and uh, it's the first time I'm headlining uh, and I did 35 minutes and I'm really happy about that they were laughing a lot but I still have a lot of work in terms of uh, my timing and my rhythm on stage I'm not happy with that now coffee and then off to the flight Hello! Oh, hi! Welcome! Nice to come in! So, uh, this is where I live and I thought um, a very Swedish thing to do is to have some kind of a, a house tour. We always do that. It's a law in Sweden that you have to, if you have guests, tour them around your house. It doesn't matter if people don't want to, you force people. It, you have to. So, and I thought, you don't really know me. And uh, this whole vlog thing just started like a, an idea I had in New York. And um, maybe it's interesting for you to know who I am, who's doing this vlog. Or maybe not, maybe you don't give a fuck. Uh, but um, I think it'll be boring if it's just a lot of comedy. So I'm gonna try to share a little bit more of, of my life. And uh, yeah, this is where I live. Um, this is the hallway, <laughs> if someone didn't realize that. And then, yeah, we can start in the bathroom, uh, which looks like this, not very big. Uh, I love taking baths uh, because it's uh, meditative for me and uh, a good place to think and write jokes. So this is a walk-in closet uh, where I try to have my stuff like this. Over here, uh, an extra room where... Um, yeah, it's nothing's going on here really, uh, it's just a mess. But the main place where I spend most of the time is here uh, in the kitchen, where I uh, love to cook, uh, especially if I have friends over. And here, uh, the uh, table where I normally work a lot, and uh, sit and write. So this is more or less where I, I, I spend most of my days. Unless I get really bored and feel lonely, I sit in cafes and write. So that's it, and then, yeah, now I should have, it doesn't matter, I don't need, this is, it looks disgusting now, but this is all just newly washed, and this is the uh, sort of master bedroom. The, the house tour continues here, maybe you've already fallen asleep, but, uh, so this is where the barbecues are gonna happen, uh, this spring, but as you can see, it's shit weather again, it's like, I think it's three degrees today, in the middle of April, I mean, what's going on? There's like 200 countries in the world where I could live and I choose to live in Sweden. I don't know what's wrong with me and it's raining as well so I need to go inside. Yeah, and then the living room and then the tour is over. Uh, which looks like this. Uh, another table for dinner. And then the lounge area. So that's it guys, uh, the tour of my home. I hope you liked it. I'm in Sweden and a city called Westeros at the moment, which is about one hour drive from Stockholm. And I'm here with my club, Raw Comedy Club, uh, to do uh, two nights of comedy. And it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, it's time to go get on stage. And uh, this guy, he's also on the show. Brilliant Swedish comedian called show. Carl Stanley. Showtime! Det känns jätte, jättebra att avsluta den här festivalen i just den här special Raw Comedy Late Night. Jag flyttade in, det här ett halvår sedan. Eh, plingade på dörren, och det var inte vanligt i Stockholm. Jag tror jag bott i Indusan i tio år, aldrig hänt att någon plingar på dörren. Så är nyfiken öppna, står det en kille där, bara, hej bror! Jag heter Thomas, jag bor på våningen ovanför. De säger att jag flyttat in en kändis här. Har du sett honom? Back in Stockholm and uh, Sunday 
and it's uh, not any Sunday. It's the Sunday uh, where my club Hammarby uh, is uh, playing their first game at home, and uh, it's going to be amazing. 35,000 people are going to be there, and uh, I'm going with my dad. I always buy this uh, in a Christmas present for him, uh, season tickets. So uh, it's really father and son time, and uh, I'm so much looking forward to it. No, finished 1-1 uh, um, we equalized in the 94th minute and I mean I love this club but it's giving me gray hair I think this is like 90% Hamabi's fault honestly I've seen blind people play better football than we did today but hey one point against a good team so we should be happy uh, now uh, I'm back in my old neighborhood where I grew up as a kid to have a Sunday dinner with my parents. So I'm looking forward to that. It's called Liseberg and it's about 10, 10 minute drive from the city center of Stockholm. And uh, yeah, it, it was really nice growing up here and kind of walking around like this. I don't know if you normally do it as well, but whenever I'm having dinner with my parents, I always get in early and just walk around the area because it grounds me. It's like meditation remembering all the things and houses and parks and just getting back to childhood and I really like that it makes me calm and I need that because I live a really stressful life So uh, on my way to a podcast recording with two friends of mine, Messiah and Jacob, who's got a, a podcast. I don't really know what it's about, but I will find out. Uh, I'm a media whore, so I said yes, <laughs> uh, without knowing uh, really what it's about. Jokes aside, uh, we're going to talk about um, uh, different news from the uh, entertainment business. Uh, one of us uh, has to come up with a, a topic each and then we discuss it and apart from that I just said yes because uh, I spend so much time alone uh, that it's just fun to hang out with two other comedians for an hour so I'm really looking forward to it I said coffee. Bubble water. You said coffee. But you, <laughs> you, you want coffee too? I'm joking. I'm jo no, I was, no, it was a joke. It was a joke. Talk to your uh, okay. friends. Your I, I'm pretending to be a diva <clears throat> and it worked. So now I'm getting it coffee. <laughs> Hannah with a heart. That's, that's great. She's going to be really happy that I take her. That's you. Lick her lips. So this is one of the hosts, uh, Jacob, and the other guy is apparently always late, 15 minutes late all the time. Um, the academic way, as we say in Swedish. Uh, but Jacob, if your name is Messiah, you're allowed to be a diva, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. So to tell us, uh, how long have you been doing this podcast? Uh, and what's it called? It's called Freak Show. It's about uh, show business and the show business world as we are involved in. But yeah. mostly we are like uh, making fun of it. Okay. All the people are very special in this business. So it's lots of material to find out about. Yeah. I think that's it. Uh, food's ready. It's Sunday night. It's been an amazing Easter, and uh, I've had my lovely girlfriend here all weekend and the whole Easter so I've been able to cook which I used to love a lot and I uh, kind of got back into it so today I'm making um, an oven ribeye steak ish thing with lots of garlic and parsley and should uh, de pap some nice French red wine in 
Sigtuna today, which is uh, a city about 45 minutes drive from Stockholm city center. And the cool thing about this place, it's medieval. So many of the uh, buildings here is from the 17th century. Uh, this one is from 1764. So it's as old as some of my jokes. This is the main street of Sigtuna, uh, where many of the buildings are from the 17th century. So they're uh, like 300 years old, almost. This is my mother. No, but this is actually, I think, how tall people were back in the days. Imagine if this was your wife. Like, hello. It's good height. Again, I really ha hate having a distance relationship. It's like this on and off all the time. And we've had this for about 15 months now. So you get a bit scared every time and build up some kind of a wall that you need to tear down every time you meet and you get closer and closer. And when you're really, really close, then it's time to say goodbye again. But I've never felt stronger than with my girlfriend. She's an amazing person. But having a distance relationship, <laughs> we're so fed up with that, both of us. We've been waiting seven months to get an interview with the migration office and still nothing. And people are telling me that it might take 20 months before they they say yes to the application in Sweden. That fucking sucks. That someone else sitting in an office is deciding what's gonna happen to your love. And you have one life, huh? All right, enough whining, but um, I wanna be honest with you guys who and girls who's watching this and life isn't always fun uh, so uh, but hey I got a lot of meetings today so uh, time to share up and uh, there's nothing I can do now anyway at the moment it's just accept the fact that she's gone and it ain't no sunshine when she's gone actually it is sunshine but not sunshine here <laughs> 